Right, so I've just seen that Kamala Harris has now chosen her new vice president pick. It's Tim Walls, his name is. I don't know who he is at all, but I've heard he's really good. So let's see how good he is. So Kamala Harris chooses Minnesota Governor Tim Walls as vice presidential running mate. So I think this, this is in the last hour or so. It's literally just been happened. Among Mr. Walls' accomplishments are ensuring tuition free meals at participating state universities, enshrining abortion rights into state law, banning conversion therapy, and providing protections for gender affirming healthcare. So, so far, so good. That's just a couple of things so far. So, I think this is him here in the picture. US presidential hopeful Kamala Harris has chosen Minnesota Governor Tim Walls as her 2024 vice presidential running mate. The Democratic Party candidate confirmed early reports in a post on Twitter saying, I am proud to announce I've asked Tim Walls to be my running mate. As a governor, a coach, a teacher and, and a veteran, he's delivered for working families like his. It's great to have him on the team. Mr Walls is a former teacher, teacher of what? And member of a US Army National Guard. And in choosing him, She's turning to a Midwestern governor, military veteran, and union supporter who helped enact an ambitious democratic agenda for his state. Okay, cool. The most progressive VP ever? Miss Harris, the first black woman and person of South Asian descent to lead a major party ticket, initially considered nearly a dozen candidates before zeroing in on a handful of serious contenders, all of whom were white men. Mm -hmm. In landing on Mr. Walls, she sided with a low-key partner who has proven himself as a champion for democratic causes. Mr. Walls has been described as having the most progressive record of any of Miss Harris's potential running mate picks. That's good. Among his accomplishments, are ensuring tuition fees, tuition free, free meals at participating state universities, enshrining abortion rights into state law, banning conversion therapy, and providing protections for gender affirming healthcare. He also oversaw sweeping protections for abortion rights and generous aid to families and signed into law the so called Taylor Swift Bill. <coughs> what are they? prompted of a frustration a legislator felt at not being able to buy tickets to Swift's 2023 concert in Minneapolis. When asked last week if his liberal record could be a potential risk for a ticket, Mr Walls jokingly replied, what a monster. Kids are eating and having full bellies, bellies so they can go learn. Women are making their own healthcare decisions. Yeah, so, so it should be. Although he initially backed President Joe Biden to continue his campaign, Mr. Walls has been a strong public advocate for Ms. Harris in her campaign against Donald Trump, Trump and J.D. Vance, labelling the Republicans as just weird in an interview last month. It's, it's more than just weird. An insult that was embraced by the Harris camp. Shoring of the Midwest. His selection indicates Ms. Harris hopes to ensure her, shore up her campaign standing against the upper Midwest. A critical region in presidential politics that often serves as a buffer for Democratic Party candidates seeking the White House. Both Michigan and Wisconsin voted for Mr. Trump in 2016. And while Mr. Biden was able to reclaim both states in 2024, 2020 even, it was within a margin of 2.78% and 0.63% respectively. Pretty yeah. Mr. Trump has already indicated he will zero in on this region as he aims to return to the presidency in November, which I hope won't 
he needs to be in prison. President Biden won Minnesota by more than seven points in 2020, despite Mr. Trump's false claims that he won the state and can do it again. No. The state has already produced two vice presidents, Hubert Humphrey and Walter Mondale, never heard of either of them, the latter of whom supported Walt on his first 2006 campaign for the House of Representatives. Walt grew up in small town Nebraska and was a social studies teacher and football coach before he got into politics. He also served 24 years in the US Army National Guard, rising to command Sergeant Major, one of the highest enlisted ranks in the military. He won the first of six terms in Congress from a mostly rural southern Minnesota district and used the office to champion veterans' issues. That's good, like. A, rural, a mostly rural place voting Democrat rather than Republican. Need more of that. He's often served as a Biden Harriger, Harris surrogate and has made increasingly frequent appearances on national television. We have included an interview on Fox News yeah, that imitated Mr. Trump so much that he posted on True Social. They make me fight battles that I should have had to fight. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's the new vice president, or the current vice president. This will be the new vice president in November. And let's, and hopefully yeah, he's, hopefully him and Harris is going to be very good. And I think Rawls is probably pro-Palestine as well. And everything. And he's got a lot more good things up his belt. So yeah.